Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in June, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out uh, offline email support to the new Outlook for Windows, um, which gives you offline email calendar and people uh, support when you have no internet uh, connection. Now, just to let you know about a small and what I would say a significant little update that Microsoft is bringing to the new Outlook for Windows. Uh, if you do find yourself using the new Outlook for Windows, and I have found with the new Outlook that you kind of fall into one of two camps. You either like it or you don't. But nonetheless, um, as you may well know, offline access currently is only supported when the app is already running and then goes offline. Okay, so you need the app open, and as an example, if I turn off my offline support, is only available when the app is already open, and then you go offline. So basically, you needed a connection to the internet to open or restart the new Outlook. So if I close Outlook, and I'm still offline, and I head back and I relaunch Outlook, you can see nothing happens. Okay, so this is how it is currently. And I need to then turn my internet back on. And then you'll see now that Outlook only starts. So although it's got offline capabilities, it's still quite limited in its basic functionality. So according to the Microsoft 365 roadmap, um, starting this month in September, um, they are introducing Microsoft the ability to open or restart the new Outlook for Windows when not connected to the internet. So opening then and restarting the app um, while offline will be introduced with this rollout, which I think, as mentioned, uh, is a much needed capability if you are using any app um, that has offline capability and support because Outlook, the new Outlook is basically a web app, a progressive web app, as you may well know. And I think this will be a much needed kind of move in the right direction, as I would say. So if you are using the new Outlook, uh, just keep checking regarding what I've mentioned in this video because um, Microsoft says it's uh, the rollout is starting in September. So I haven't received it yet. Today we're on the 4th in my region. So maybe check back in a week or so's time and that support may have rolled out in your region. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.